YouTubers and thank you for tuning in to the Dinosaur of Flat Toy View. Today we're going to be taking a look at three Waterbird toys. Sorry if I'm very late though today because I've just woken up very late though. Because today the weather has turned into a cooler refrain. But most importantly, um, what I'm actually going to be blabbering today is, is that also I am assembling my Thunderstorm Webcam Activity Part 10 video. Uh, sadly that is actually a video that has actually been delayed because obviously I've still got a lot more toy videos to be doing of course but it's also that, it's also one of these videos on YouTube that it's um it's not really an actual thunderstorm it's actually more of a I don't know what it is but it's actually a bit more different compared to your average thunderstorm it was actually more of a the remnants of the thunderstorm that we had in um from Worcestershire I think it was it was like the remnants of a thunderstorm. There wasn't actually any thunder and lightning, which is very disappointing though. That was that's one thing I've actually realised on part ten. I might upload that and assemble that fully if I do have some time. But what I will do as I'm doing this vlog is to tour review. I'll move the headphones away. Uh, these are just spare headphones because obviously the headphones I used to wear now they've been broken. Cheap and nasty obviously. The sound is the sounds. Well, let's take a look at this one here. Uh, this is a flip flat origami British wildlife collection swimming, wintering adult, black headed gal, uh, small flock fire pack. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Uh, it costs about £2.50, which is a very nice price. That's what the back of the packaging actually looks like. It's actually not too bad. And yet again, I'm really proud that flip flap is actually basically starting to make flip flap toys. Um, Checking if there's any bloat around there. No, I don't think I don't think so. So here we go. We've got five of those black headed gals. I think I've seen that many, many times. Um, but yes, I do know that black headed gals, um, as time and time and time again, once as you see those beautiful looking birds, some of them have got those brown patches on the top where the eyes are. And of course, yes, in the winter, which is Obviously, um, what their name suggests, that's what their head plumage would, you know, look like. No, that's what they would look like during the winter and also like late summer as well. And honestly, if I look at that, it almost looks like they're wearing headphones, like earphones or something whatever they're called. Very weird headphone-like designs. And I've actually realised, um, although the rest of the black-headed girls have been designed. Um, fairly correctly. This one here seems to look like it's got no brown in it, but nevertheless, I will try and find the brown. Not far away, actually. And yes, I've, so, I've certainly learnt so many times in this video toys often cost a lot of money when it comes to the detailing. Well, detailing costs money in the toy room. In fact, there you go. That looks so much better, doesn't it? And as funny as it sounds, they all have got names as well, um, but they don't tell you that either it's summer or winter form. Um, obviously they're winter form, so yeah, that's what they all look like. Sorry, I'm actually speaking quite a bit tardy though, because obviously I've just woken up got a little bit late. Uh, but nevertheless, these guys, they look pretty nice. Obviously they look fairly, fairly good. I mean, I mean, I don't want to say anything too harsh about it, really. Anyways, let's move on to another <coughs> flip-flap I can tell you what, my throat is actually going to be funny after, in fact, it's going to be very croaky after doing that very intense thunderstorm video, which overall, um, sadly, wasn't actually an, an actual thunderstorm, but it was it was more of a, you know, the remnants of a thunderstorm, which didn't have any thunder or lightning. But anyways, let's move on to this product here. Maybe we might go and get another thunderstorm from this afternoon here. If we're lucky, it is a flip flop origami. Um, it's called the Swimming Yellow Legged Girl Small Flop Fire Pack. It costs about three pounds. That's about fifty pence dearer compared to the black headed girls. There you go. That's what you get. The yellow legged girls uh, look like that. They almost look like. Uh, obviously, they almost look like quite black, black girl size herring girls matched up with lesser black black girls in a sense that. You know, they are heavy and massive. But one thing I've also realised about yellow legged girls is that they are, well, they're more likely found in the Mediterranean and other parts of Europe instead of the UK. They often tend to 
have, you know, they often tend to be heavily concentrated via, you know, the Mediterranean and all these places like that because that's where these gals normally come from. And there you go, there's the name here, Yellow Lodge Gal. As well, I've actually realised, uh, apart from um, the Mediterranean, they can also be found in, like, you know, I'd probably say the Alps of Switzerland, I guess. Uh, which is actually something very unique for gals, or seagulls for that matter, in general. Basically, I've got to keep on checking for errors. There's a bit of a spy here. You know, it's funny, uh, herring gulls, and obviously, unless the flatback gulls, they are closely related to this, but this species here seems almost looks like that. Wow, it looks like a mashup of the two species. It's like you get the silvery grey back of a herring gull, but a little bit more darker, but you've also got the eye rings of the lesser flatback gal, which is actually like more of a scarlety type red <laughs> in colour, which is actually fairly nice. And dude, that looks fairly good for such a toy like that, yellow legs gal. In fact, the name arrangement on the letters and the words seems to look like they've been arranged quite differently, though. But nevertheless, these guys look super cool. Uh, I don't, I don't think we get a lot of those guys. Here, I suppose, but they can turn up anywhere. I think they can turn up anywhere in the UK, at least around late summer and autumn time, I think. And uh, let's move on to another product, of course, which will be our last one, and it's this one here. Oh, yes, the Flip Origami British Wild Collection of Swimming Large Girls. Uh, what's it called? Mixed Colony and um, Pear versus Brown Rat. I think it's basically a Brown Rat bed. Oh, sorry. Bread bait. Oh, sorry. Why am I reading it so sloppily? Freaking hell! Okay, it's a flip out origami British Wild Collection. Uh, swimming large girl. Um, swimming large girls. Mixed colony pair versus brown wrap bread bait. And a little 12 pack. <coughs> sorry, my throat's going a bit funny because obviously I've been super euphoric and excited from the storms that I filmed yesterday. I felt like on a mental blank there. That cost about £16.50 with that very, very evil pic picture of a seagull grinning with a petrified rat. Because obviously, well, a lot of seagulls do gobble up rats. But there are actually a couple of options actually with rats and seagulls. Let's go ahead and unpack that. And I was going to be doing more water toys um, after this, but then when the thunderstorms came closer. Um, which actually sadly didn't turn up as a thunderstorm. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the gals first. And we'll take a look at the herring gals first and the lesser blackback gals first. Now, here's a very big difference. Which one of these is the herring or the lesser blackback gal? So let's just have a look very closely. Okay, the ones with the red eye rings and slightly grey backs. So they are the lesser blackback gals, if I show you these. There you go. <coughs> it, although they look kind of like the same size, <coughs> they do look a lot more elegant and less bulky in a sense that that's what these guys are meant to be looking like. Obviously, less of that back girls, if I show it to you very closely, that's what they all look like. Yeah, my, the focusing on my, obviously the lens on my webcam is not that great <coughs> because obviously, I mean, it's just just not as great as what I think of. It's just a bit bad though, but I mean... But anyways, there's the name here as well. <coughs> Jeez, I don't know why I'm not speaking that. Well, of course today though, maybe it's because I got really excited by the thunderstorms of course, and here is two of the herring gals. I better show two of them because it'll be like, oh, but there you go. There you go, there's two of them here. I think what's very fundamental with seagulls is, is that when it comes into rats, not only do they, they do actually eat rats, but alongside with crows, um, they do eat the, you know, the incoming rat food before the rats can have a chance. You know, that's actually something very nice about these guys. They actually do eat the rat food before the rats come. And yes, since seagulls have adapted to urban environments and living coexistently with rats uh, in urban cities and towns. Yeah, so I've got a lot of those small or tiny rats that I've got away. That's actually fairly nice. And we've only got four of those, which is actually a very good sign. 
And of course, yes, as I'm making this video, I'm actually thinking of doing um, some pony thing products, maybe after making this video. Uh, but I don't know what type of pony thing product that I might be able to make. Uh, in this video, maybe like a shopping theme set. Well, we've got some bread. And also today I'm actually popping up to the Transport Museum in Coventry. Um, because obviously I haven't been to Coventry for a fairly long time. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's going to be fairly nice. And also, it's been like nine years that I have actually haven't been to Coventry since 2013, which was the year when I actually, you know, went with my family just to see that cool IKEA store that sadly got closed in 2020. <coughs> but luckily enough, I did see the uh, IKEA branch in Coventry. That was fairly nice. And there you go, here come the rats. They look fairly cute, but also annoying, of course, because they are true pests, of course. And we'll just put the rats and the seagulls back again. Rats with wings, obviously. Alongside of pigeons and crows, I suppose. That's what these guys are meant to be called. Okay, in they go. Straight forward into the packaging. And you know what? Both of these products are done and dusted! Well, sorry for the rough and ready talking there because I've been waking up a little bit lightly though. So anyways, if you really enjoyed in this very cool video, well, obviously it's a very nice change because obviously we've got the trains running in action there. It's been like a long time they haven't done a lot of train runs so far because we had seen so much really bad hot weather. But nevertheless, it's nice that the weather has changed into a much more wet and drizzly refrain. So anyways... Please give this video a like, subscribe for more flip videos in the future, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and bye for now!